Hello and welcome to episode two of uh, Inside Know Your Schools. I'm uh, Principal Williams. Uh, today in our May edition, we're talking to the student and the athletes of the month. Uh, so we have like a little roundtable discussion today on uh, just about what's going on with our students here at Nutley High School. And today is also Teacher Appreciation Day and our culinary arts uh, department did a wonderful job. If we can get a close up here, gang, of the wonderful creations we may start eating as we talk. Um, we have wonderful uh, confectionery delights, uh, courtesy of the Nutley High School students. There's a, a fruit tart, I believe an apple cinnamon crumb cake tart, and this is the Starbucks cupcake, which is very good. has caffeine in it. Not good. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, congratulations on your awards. You were uh, selected uh, by uh, staff members and coaches uh, for your, uh, your job inside and outside the classroom and on the playing fields. We're going to start off with uh, Emily Holden. Emily, hello. Hi. <laughs> Congratulations. You just pitched a no-hitter, correct? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Um, it was against New York Academy in a county game, and uh, we won 10 nothing. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, I actually didn't even know I was throwing a no-hitter. How did you not know they were not getting hits? Because, like, <laughs> I don't know, when you're so into the game, it's just like nothing else is more important. Than right, so you just focus on yeah. the next batter. Yep. So who's your favorite uh, pitcher? My, for who? Baseball or softball. Do you have a softball favorite pitcher? Um, the J Train. <laughs> Who's J Train? She's from um, Alabama. <laughs> She's called the J Train. Yeah. <laughs> Do you follow baseball at all? Or? Um, yeah, I'm a Mets fan. All right, me too. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's kind of <laughs> yeah. it's kind of a tough job in, in Nutley here being a Mets fan, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite Mets pitcher? Um, I don't really have a favorite right now. Um, I like Davis got traded. He was like my favorite, but. I always like John Matlack. Oh, really? That's going back to the 70s. <laughs> um, so how do you balance, uh, like, your classes and, and then your sports uh, uh, responsibilities? Um, it's it's not that hard. You just have to, like, you just have to, like, know your priority priorities and, like, what's important and um, just take it, like, one, one day at a time. One time at a time. That's good. Yep. So you just have time management's important? Yeah. Kyle, would you agree? Time, yes. time management's important? Definitely agree with that. So what do you what do you play? Why are you getting the sports uh, athlete uh, of the month? I play baseball and basketball. And how's it going with baseball? Pretty good. We have a county game on Thursday. We Who actually, are you playing? Should all come West Essex. Okay. Uh, quarterfinals, so big game. So what does it mean for the county? What's how does the county is that our round robin uh, uh, tournament? Yeah, basically everyone in the county gets in, and there's like top 16 seeds, I think, and then you play. We, we were the fifth seed, or the no the fourth seed, so. Yeah, we have to win four games, and then we win the county. And you and win the county. Yep. And where do you play the games? Uh, we get two at home since we were the four seed, and then the third game's in Verona, okay. and then Newark Bears Stadium. And are you, you pitcher, uh, fielder, what do you do? Pitcher and outfielder. What's your favorite pitch throw? Probably curveball. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Who's your favorite pitcher? Uh, Matt Harvey. Matt Harvey. Yep. So you're not going to get Tommy John surgery, though, like him? No, right? hopefully not. Are you going to play ball uh, when you get to college? or? Yeah, in round four. Oh, good for you. That's good. What are you going to study? Uh, I'm not sure yet. You're not you're undecided. Yeah. So I asked Emily the same question. How do you kind of divide up your 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 responsibilities for your like you know being a, an athletic uh, uh, participant and then you, you know with your with your schoolwork and stuff? Get the schoolwork done first. Do that first. And then then play sports. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. the academics first, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Always. Okay. Kenny, you're kind of uh, in between. Now. You're 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 my, one of my students of the month, but you're also. Um, uh, you just got an award for your uh, your your performances on the uh, wrestling mat. Why don't you tell yeah. us a little bit what's going to happen next year with you and wrestling? Um, I started training in the off season. There's a club that started here in Nutley. Started actually yesterday. Oh so wow! Started that. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays at seven. So trying to get the other wrestlers to go. But just working the off season and I'm going to be a captain next year. So let's talk a little bit about that. Why do you why do you think you were selected captain? I know why you were selected captain, but I just want to see if you know why you were selected captain. Um, I think just the hard work and dedication I've put in over the years, and they see my leadership, I guess, and yeah. So you got to do that with your wrestlers. You got to get them. So is that going to be voluntary through until the, the the winter? Is that what they have to do? Voluntary practices? Yeah, or? it is. It is, but. You know, I try to convince them to go. Some of them don't want to because they have, like, football or something, but I'm trying to get them to go. Got to get them out. Yeah. 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 So, uh, again, I'll ask you because it's been kind of a theme. I don't know if Lindsay plays a sport. Well, I don't know if we can ask her that question when we get there, <laughs> but we'll talk something else. Uh, what, how do you divide up the, the responsibilities of being a wrestling captain and, 
and, and then your schoolwork? Because you mentioned you love history, right? And you're thinking yeah. about uh, doing a, a, a an internship with the medical program? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just get things done one at a time. You know, when I'm wrestling, I focus on wrestling. But as soon as I have free time, I get my homework done and my schoolwork done. And, yeah. and you said you like Mr. Dwyer's class? Yeah. Why? Because the way he teaches it, his lectures, um, the stuff he teaches sticks with you. And gets us involved in the class and definitely learn a lot out of it. Cool. And Linz, I can't ask you a sports question, but sorry. <laughs> your big commitment is to um, to uh, journalism, right? Yes. And are you, you're you're writing right now for the Myrna Gray. Mm-hmm. You can do that next year. Definitely. Yeah. Why do you think it's an important thing to do? Why is why is journalism an important thing for for students to kind of uh, know about and participate in? Well, I think it's important for everyone to be an informed citizen and kind of um, know what's going on in the world around them and like try and make it a better place because of that. Um, I think it's really important to understand like what's happening also in other parts of the world because it's um, it's difficult to like have a whole world perspective without journalism. I'm going to ask you this question. You guys can answer this too. Do you guys read newspapers at all anymore? As your generation? No. Where do you get your I news? Don't. Where do you get? So where do you get your news from? Where do you get your information from? Um, you watch the news a lot of the time in the house, and my house will have the news on. My dad gets the New York Times almost every day. And you, do you read it? Um, it's a good paper to read. <laughs> it's because it's got it's written on a twelfth grade uh, vocabulary level, so it's good to read. That. That's why it's good to read. So where do you got? How do you know what's going on, or do you not know what's going on? My friends. <laughs> <laughs> so your friends tell you what's going on in the world? Yeah, and like I, I like watch the news every once in a while, um, or like Twitter or like whatever. Social media. So how do you guys know what's going on around school? How do you find out what's going on in, inside the school? How do you get your information? You should get it from the maroon and gray. Well, I was trying to lead them, but I guess they're not, they're not going to bite on oh, that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> well, let me ask you this question. What, do you, how do you think we could do a better job about getting stuff out communication-wise to students? You can start us off if you want, if you have any ideas. If you don't have any ideas, that's fine. I don't know. Um, personally, for me, the announcements in the morning, I'm in gym first period, so like I have not heard one morning announcement since I've been in health. Um, so I think um, something should probably be done about that, maybe um, having announcements either at the end of the period, maybe mm-hmm. at the beginning of second period. Mm-hmm. Um, just because like I I don't think it's effective, I guess. Do you guys hear them in your classes? Kind of. I not eighth period, because I, I have gym. You're at the end. Mm-hmm. First period, I hear them. Yeah. Hear them eighth period. Do you guys have any? Do you got belong to any groups that have like their own Facebook and they do their own the uh, the Twitter and texting stuff? Yeah. Like, like clubs teaching. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's probably that's might be the way to, to go with you guys. You know, definitely. Just kind of yeah. that's the media you guys are, are getting used to. And that's the information. So, I mean, I do a Twitter page, but I, it's just kind of like a, like a I just kind of emphasize what the good things that are going on. I don't really like you know say like you know I just had coffee or something like that. But that's important for you guys to. Uh, to get. I think maybe we'll be going that way. All right, last question for you guys. Give us give advice to underclassmen coming up. How could they become successful students? How could they possibly uh, do well? What can they learn from you guys? Like students or like athlete-wise? Any, you, you pick. I don't care what you want to say. Um, well, athlete-wise, athlete um, I'd say like join club teams, go to camps, um, work really, really hard in the off-season because that's what's going to get you to be successful in, in the regular season. Like, I play softball all year round. Is that good or bad? Um, it's... Because Kyle's at least a two-sport player. Kenny does just... Kenny does wrestling. Well... But some people would say maybe the, you know maybe you need to do something different in the offseason. Well, I, I'm I, just asking. I played basketball freshman year. Oh, okay. But um, I couldn't this year because of um, my injury. But what happened? How, what, what injury did you get? I had... I basically um, broke my pelvis. Ow! What'd you do? I was um, running to first base, and it was just like, you could like literally hear the pop and feel the pop, and I just like went down. Wow. And I had to get surgery on Halloween, so. So that was this year? Yeah. So you've recovered so, to throw a no-hitter. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> so I worked, you have to work so hard to like yeah. get to be successful. And same thing with school, like, like you, you can't slack off, you can't, you challenge yourself to take harder classes, and like, because it's manageable, you can do it. Kyle, what do you think? You're Actually, senior, you're leaving. What are you telling the underclassmen? Want to go is really fast, but uh, like you said, just managing your time between sports and all your activities and schoolwork and just get everything done because it's really important for college. Like a lot of seniors didn't realize that they really had to work really hard and now they're really stressed out about what they have to do. They're up against it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Kenny, what do you think? 
Um, take things one at a time and try to get everything done. Definitely that. And make the right decisions in and out of school. That's important. Yeah. Dealing with that all the time. People make the wrong decisions over the weekend, and we have to deal with yeah. it in school the next day. That's, that's good. Say sage advice. And, Linz, what's on your brain? Um, plan ahead for the future, I guess. Um, right from the beginning of freshman year, they think, you know, grades don't matter. Freshman year grades don't matter, but they do. They factor into your GPA. They, um, regardless of what you might say, like, colleges do see them. So, mm-hmm. like, it's important to, like, plan for the future and make sure you have a good plan for the road ahead. Okay. Well, thank you guys for, for coming today. Appreciate it. Really, really great uh, talking with you guys. It's always good. Before we leave, I want everybody to select a, a cupcake to eat with for them. So, Emily, you go first. Starbucks. She goes for the Starbucks. Good call. That apple cinnamon's talking to Kyle and Kenny as well. And we got a Starbucks. And I went for the, the, the fruit melange. Oh, wow. Quite good. Thank you, and we'll see you guys uh, next month. This is Mr. Williams for Know Your, know your Schools.